G'day everyone, I'm Brian. Welcome to the Japanese Whiskey Review, continuing the series of Best Mars Whiskies. And all rated 90 out of 100 or better, I'll put my full list of Best Mars Whiskies I've tasted in the description. And you can maybe go check out some other people's reviews, see how they compare. And this is another one of these Mars Le Papillon, Le Papillon meaning butterfly. And oh, I don't think I put the name out of this one, I'll see if I can look it up. C. Thyden. Thydemus, something like that. I don't think I wrote it down, but it's on the bottle. I'll go check it out and put it in the uh, put it in the the title. So the Papillon 2015 four year old sherry butt, and it was cast number five one five two fifty eight percent ABV, and I'm not sure what order these are in, but I've done another one of these young Mars sherry casks, and I was impressed by that one as well. These Le Papillons are highly sought out by Mars aficionados. Nose, sweet masala, nutmeg, seared orange slices, toffee, an earthy note, and candy coated nuts, barbecue sauce, plum sauce, Turkish delight, some flintiness and tar. With water, this is a little more earthy, also vanilla, hessian and sea spray. Unusual for a sherry cast whiskey. Palette. Sherry, cherries, ash, coal, tar, earthy peat. Does this good? It's got some peated whiskey in it. Must have. Toffee, cashews, juicy dates. If it doesn't have peated whiskey, there's some sort of weird alchemy going on. So dates, salt, pepper, and oranges. Full bodied with medium level peating. I guess it must be there somewhere. Somewhere I read. Anyway. With water more tart, tangy, and smoky. And the finish I got long on cherries, dates, toffee, ash, cashews, cacao nibs, cigar leaf, and earthy peat. What a great combo, sherry peat, eh? Water adds bonfire smoke and peppermint. I'm not saying they're the first ones to do it, but it's working with this one. So the peatiness is there, but it's not overshadowing all the other elements, so it's really well balanced. Last word, almost half the bottle is gone and I'm going to have to hide this one for myself. Great young whiskey. Mars does not always get sherry cast matured whiskies right, at least in my opinion. But they've nailed it with this one. And this one also rated, what, how old was it again? Four years old. And a rating of 90 out of 100. So, Kampai, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you for another Mars whiskey. I think I've got a few more to go. Bye for now.